Let's bring in former Trump senior advisor Kimberly Guilfoyle to talk about this. Good to see you, Kim. Good to see you, Rob. All right, so it took, it took Biden 64 days in office to actually hold a press conference. He's still running away from reporters. Do you think he's afraid of the press, or is he just kind of unaware of the policies? What do you make of all this? I think it's really just a, a whole aggregation of events and things of what's happening here. I mean, he really brings, like, new meaning to the term shelter in place. That's what he should do. I think he wants to go back to Delaware. There's no place like home. Hide out there, because he's not been available or transparent, like you mentioned, to the press, to the American people, to the government, quite frankly. So it's, it's really sad. He's weighing over his skis. Kamala Harris is really the de facto uh, commander-in-chief. She's made it very clear. Remember when he tried to say that she was in charge of the border, and she's like, oh, I'm not in charge of the border. So she's calling the shots here. I know this. I know her a long time. I think she's well in line to run for uh, president next time. And this is just really just a placeholder. But it's sad because the American people deserve so much more. And they got it with President Trump, with his, uh, you know, winning entrepreneurism, his America First policies, his understanding of the complexities of the free market and capitalism. So we're the ones missing out, sadly, and Biden is the one checked out. Yeah. John Kerry has responded, uh, and often a target on our show, John Kerry, we point out a lot of his failings, but uh, there's been this bombshell that was buried in a New York Times article yesterday that Kerry informed Iran's foreign minister that Israel had attacked Iranian interests in Syria at least 200 times. Right. In a tweet, Kerry called the story and the allegations unequivocally false. He says they never happened. Um, we're talking about it. The rest of the media, though, you know, obviously not as interested because they don't want to hurt a Democrat. What are your thoughts on this story? I think it's very disturbing, but sadly, because you have, you know, uh, President Biden and VP Harris, what's going to come of this? And also, because they're not going to call for congressional hearings, et cetera, is he's going to get a pass. If this was during President Trump's administration, they'd be all over it, calling for investigations, sure. demanding that these questions be answered. But it's obviously totally inappropriate. He's denied it. But nevertheless, like, why do we have these swampy politicians over and over again selling us out to our enemies. It's totally inappropriate for anybody to be discussing this or talking to Iran and divulging state secrets. It's it's highly inappropriate. Yeah. I mean, he has denied it, but with John Kerry, you know, he just he seems to make mistake after mistake. So you really don't know what happened with this one. Uh, it doesn't look good for him. But though, he still obviously. manages to continue as a career politician yeah. over and over again, getting rewarded yeah. despite abject failures. And that's what's wrong with D.C. That's what's wrong with the swamp. That's why Donald Trump ran. And boy, they right. better be get ready, because if he decides to run again, there's going to be a reckoning. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If, if, if John Kerry worked for a private business, he would have been unemployed long ago. That's for sure. Um, let's talk about former yeah. Missouri Governor Eric Greitens, recently announcing a run for U.S. Senate. You have endorsed Greitens, now the national chair for his Senate campaign. Here's part of his new campaign ad. In this room, people are proud to stand here and support President Trump. President Trump, who fought for us. What we know is that right now, this country needs fighters. And I'm here to fight for you. All right, so he's obviously taken the Trump route. Um, tell us about this seat, why it's important, why he's the man for the job. I got to tell you something. There's nothing more important than fighting for the U.S. Senate and fighting for those seats. Each one is going to be a hard-won fight and a battle that we have to be up for the charge and make make sure that we, in fact, control the Senate. And the former governor, Eric Greitens, is an exceptional human being. I stood by while he actually, and I tried to help him, when he was saving a life here in Florida, jumping in right away to answer the call. He was fantastic as governor. He's a true fighter, and he reminds me of President Trump back in 2016 when people said, oh, no, President Trump can't get it done. We need someone that is actually going to fight and stand up for the American first policies, just like President Trump did. Someone that understands the hardworking everyday men and women out there that have been silenced and forgotten for so long. That's what I believe in. That's what I stand for. I'm totally behind his candidacy. I know he's going to do a great job for the people in the state of Missouri. It's what America deserves. It's what Missouri 
jury deserves. This is someone that is not afraid to stand up to the establishment, to the, like squishy Republicans and rhinos that pretend they have your best interests at heart, and they yeah. do not. And that's yeah. why I know we will be successful, and he's 40 percent up ahead in the polls and enjoys a 60 percent approval rating with conservatives. Wow. This is what this country deserves. Okay. All right. We'll follow that race, of course. Kimberly Guilfoyle, former senior advisor to President Trump, good to see you again. Thanks for coming on. Wonderful to see you, Rob. All right. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.